Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I'm excited about this one and received this package during the week. And uh, yeah, I know I'm a little bit late. Um, <laughs> it may still be Friday somewhere at the time of uploading, but it certainly isn't here. It's Saturday night now, but I needed to get the video out there. Again, I, I, think, I, I think I skipped last week. I can't remember. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. It, 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 the weeks have been a little bit of a blur. We had that lockdown last week, but um, yeah, I've come in here and shot a couple of unboxings this week. Um, they are member exclusive videos, so um, yeah, if you wanted to go behind the scenes, look into becoming a member of my channel, and you can uh, check out all the behind the scenes and unboxing stuff, and yeah, I'm just sort of working on working on adding to that as well. Um, but yeah, Power of the Force, Jedi Spirits, I thought we'd crack this one open and uh, really get into the spirit of the weekend. Get into the spirit of the weekend. Okay, <laughs> that was lame. Um, yeah, I've wanted this set since I was a kid, you know, like it's been so just on my wish list since I was a kid and I've just never had it. And uh, here I am at 30, 33 years old, finally have it in hand. And we have the uh, sort of episode one sort of flashback card there. Which is cool. Coming summer 1999 to galaxies everywhere. New characters, vehicles, and worlds. So yeah, fantastic set. You know, I, I love the. I actually love the display of the packaging. So it's it's not an easy one to open, but I'm I'm going to because yeah, I want these figures. So I have my trusty knife. Cutting 25 year old tape. <laughs> hmm. We really do care. If you have any questions, please call 1 800 327 8264. All right, include name, address, and phone number. Hasbro Incorporated Consumer Services, PO Box 200, Portucket, Rhode Island, 02862 How quick did I read that? Wow. <laughs> Should uh, just say write them write them a letter and just say I'm really really happy with my product that I've received 23 years after the fact. <laughs> so we have these amazing ties that uh, we'll work on. But yeah, just uh, I've sort of I don't know why I haven't bought these yet. Um, you know, it's they have been a little bit. Uh, I'd say overpriced in the secondary market, at least here in Australia, and I don't know what the availability availability of these was like in stores back in the back in the nineties. So, uh, yeah, really not sure why. Um, but yeah, I I, decided, I just decided to do a search. Um, I sort of I saw a picture of it online. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have to do a quick little. Um, Quick little search on eBay and see if I can't find one for a good price. And this one popped up for about 25 bucks. So I jumped on it and uh, I thought that's pretty good for, you know, for a set like this. I'm pretty happy with that. So we've done the ties. And there's one more at the back, it seems. Three more at the back, okay. Oh, they really cared about the security back then. And these days, the cards, the bubbles don't even stay on the cards. Right. So yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, hope you all had a great week. I uh, had a pretty, pretty full on week to be honest. I had my second dose of uh, the Pfizer, Pfizer vaccine for COVID and uh, yeah, it certainly threw me around a fair bit this week, so I've kind of been fighting that, and then just exhaustion from fighting that, so I'm, I'm looking forward to having a couple of days off now, which will be very nice. Alright. 
There we go. We are now cardboard free. Let's get rid of these little silicon tubes. Get the tyres. Yeah, there was no figure swapping back in the day, let me tell you. You either walked out with the lot or none. All right, here we go. Well, let's... I assume they come off. <laughs> They've probably just sat on the peg for so long. We've got a... Okay, so they're screwed on. And, uh, you know, for the, for the moment, I'm actually going to leave them like that. So, uh, there are pegs. Uh, there is one peg there. And I can just sort of see the screw there under everyone's leg. So, I'm actually going to leave them on there, I think. Just leave them screwed on. That works well for me. I'm happy with that. Um, parents should remove and dispose of screws. Well, I'm not going to tell my mum about it then, am I? Um, so, yeah, obviously, we've got a... Uh, not Hayden Christensen Anakin here. You know, Sebastian Shaw. You know, they've used the same mould as the sort of standard release. Articulation's really seized up over the years. They've been they, these haven't seen the light of day. Well they have they may have seen the light of day, but they haven't been touched since the factory. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. They've almost got like a little misting of white over them too, so they're not just sort of super clear hologram looking figures and I like that it's sort of it's a bluey green um, but yeah there's certainly like a nice sort of misting of white white paint over the top now Yoda I think this is sort of a be the same Yoda I'm sure just with different arms um, just so they can nestle there like that and Obi-Wan with different arms as well just so we can sort of just stand there relaxed Kinda. Looks like he's gonna start fighting. He'll put a little boxing bag up. You wanna fight me? I'm Ben Kenobi. All right. Yeah. So yeah, the articulation obviously hasn't moved for a long time. So it's nice, sort of stiff joints. But I actually, I like the. Uh, I like the sort of Ewok Village sort of base here. And obviously with the uh, cardboard, you can cut that out and slot it in the back there as a bit of a display. So I might actually even do that and put it on my Power of the Force shelf. Because yeah, these are, these are great. I'm, I'm really, really thrilled to have these in the collection now. I do have the uh, updated 30th anniversary. Uh, this is an Anakin Skywalker Force Ghost. Um, he was wearing like gold, gold robes, and it was the Hayden Christensen version, which you know I'm okay with. I'm okay with that version. I do like this version. I like seeing Anakin as what he would have looked like at at that age of of his death. Um, and I would have been okay with it with Hayden probably even more so if they you know aged him up a little bit make him look a little bit older give him like sort of shorter cropped hair and make him look like the sort of man in his 40s um that he was when he died and sort of you know he was around 45 46 um you know, maybe even closer to 50 that would have worked would have worked fine i think but uh yeah i i, I like both versions for 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 their individual reasons um but yeah, this is this is cool, guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Of uh, it's nice to open a set that I've wanted for you know since I was a kid. You know, I used to see it on the back of packaging and stuff, and in catalogs, and just never had it. So to have this in hand now is 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 a good feeling. So that wraps up another episode of power of the force fridays i hope you've enjoyed it please drop a comment below i really would love to hear your thoughts feedback anything hit the thumbs up that would be appreciated too if you notice in my description i also have a p.o box address as well as a red bubble store 
and some other links to all my social media stuff so come and come and have a look around and come and find me around the internet my digital footprint is everywhere <laughs>